Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. Good morning, good evening, good night, good day. Wherever you are, whenever you're seeing this, I hope you are good. So guys, I'm sure you've been hearing about the Lionsgate portal. You guys know every year, I feel like we are always looking forward to 8-8 the Lionsgate portal. But in reality, the Lionsgate portal that actually lasts about two to three weeks, um, beginning from the end of July to August 12th. So we actually have a few days of this energy being active, but we all recognize all August 8th, 8-8, eight, eight, as being like the day where the energy is really, really heightened. Um, eight is a number of abundance. It's a number of change. It's a number of prosperity. It's a number of affluence. It's a number of money as well, okay? So I wanted to do a video to just give you guys the motivation that you need to step into this Lionsgate portal and feel so, so, so good about it. I know we have all been going through so many changes, and I have been going through a lot of changes, y'all, like a lot. I'm definitely going to do a life update that's probably going to gag y'all seriously because there's so much change that I've been going through, but I think it's necessary, you know, and if you are experiencing a lot of change right now, you should be worried because the energy is here for transformation. The energy is here to put you in a 180 position, okay? Totally opposite from where you have been, you know? So if you've been feeling the frustration and the struggle, if you feel like you've just been fighting against life for these last couple of months, Honey, you are not alone, and I definitely believe this Lionsgate portal is going to bring us new energy, new opportunities, new chances, and overall, just a new outlook. If you've been needing to tap into gratitude and creativity, if you've been needing to tap into a new mindset, now is going to be the time to do it. So we're going to be getting into the motivation that you need to prepare for this Lionsgate portal. Also, we're going to be pulling some cards. You guys know I already have some cards pulled, okay? So it's a lot that we're going to be getting into in this video. But before we get into it, of course, we have to shout out the sponsor Anna Luisa and you guys know by now if you've been watching me you know by now Anna Luisa is definitely my favorite jewelry brand you guys know I'm a jewelry girl I'm also a quality girl okay and Anna Luisa checks all the boxes so make sure you guys check them out Anna Luisa has become my favorite jewelry brand for a few reasons the fast and free shipping the free exchanges the two-year warranty and they have such an extensive catalog I'm gonna have a close-up here of my beautiful new pieces so you guys can see it's all about the sets today you know in the accessories game it's all about putting sets together it's all about mixing and matching your pieces and kind of creating a story with the accessories and I love that I feel like we're kind of sort of stepping out of the minimalist era and kind of stepping into a space where more is more but also when you want to wear your minimal pieces you still want them to stand out and I think Anna Luisa covers all those bases whether you just want to wear one pendant or you want to have a wrist stack with bracelets you're going to be able to find something that is going to suit you specifically okay their quality is unmatched and I know you guys are going to love them love them love them as much as I have been loving them and you guys are familiar with these pieces as well. I'm always rocking these earrings because they're so classic. You can dress them up, dress them down. This is definitely a piece that I've had for a little bit, but I just love to bring out this super cute necklace. You literally can't ever go wrong with this. Of course, I have my ring on. You guys know I love my ring, but these two bracelets are actually my new pieces, and I think they just look so, so great with this band that kind of looks like a watch but this is a bracelet i've been wearing this so much this literally just gives me luxury up and down okay so i am loving these pieces and enjoying them and i know you guys will definitely do the same so make sure you check down below in the description box to use my link and save up to 25 percent off when you are shopping okay make sure you use my link to shop and save at checkout and louisa get into it you guys know i've been raving about this brand for months now okay and, and it is not for nothing again i love their catalog it's so diverse there's something for everyone and they even have a few pieces with some crystals included as well so get into it check down below in the description box to shop and make it happen you know we always talk about self-love treating yourself pouring into yourself it's a great way to get into it and just to kind of remind yourself that everything is going to be okay there's a reason that retail therapy is a thing okay if you've been feeling a little down in the dumps get yourself a new piece adorn yourself with something beautiful you may change your mind you may feel a little bit different so make sure you guys get into it shout out to Anna Louise as always for sponsoring this video and just hooking me up with the best jewelry pieces in the game right now okay make sure you guys get into it they have so many different options so check down below in the description box use my link to save directly at checkout now let's go ahead and get into this video so guys before we pull any cards I just wanted to let you guys know that it's okay you know I wanted to let you know it's okay whatever you've been dealing with whatever you've been fighting it is okay I think that this has been a season to really test us. I feel this has been a season to really kind of 
push us outside of our boundaries, to push us to points that we didn't think we could survive in. You know, this has been a season of a lot of anxiety for us. We've been worrying a lot. We've been stressing a lot. We've been confused and we haven't really known how to move. We want to put our foot forward, but we're not even sure where to put our foot down. So I feel this Lionsgate portal is going to bring us clarity and it's going to bring us new opportunity that can kind of serve what we've been looking for. It's going to bring us opportunity that can kind of answer those big questions for us like, who am I? Where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing? What's next for me? What we're going to be stepping into next is going to be answering those questions. And I feel we're going to have a really, really full circle moment where we're going to be able to feel better about what we're doing. We're going to be able to stand by what we're doing. And also, I feel we're going to be able to get out of our own head. You know, by now, if there's been anything that you've been struggling with, if there's been anything that's been, you know, keeping you up at night, why haven't you dealt with it? You know, this is really a time to ask yourself, if I am this beat down about something, what am I going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I can't keep letting this beat me down. The only option is to stand up. The only option is to stand up. And, you know, these last few months for me has been a moment of, doing something about it. You know, anything in my life that I've just kind of been letting run wild, I've been doing something about it. Like, and I think that it's so easy to be content. It's so easy to just accept whatever life is giving you. We almost forget that we're in control. We almost forget that we have free will. We almost forget that we can say yes, no, I don't want this. Let me get, let me get a little bit more of this. We almost forget that we have that executive control over our lives, but we do. You know, if you don't like your job, get another one. If you don't like your partner, get another one. If you don't like where you stay move and we might say oh it's not that simple but it really is and the reason we don't feel like it's that simple is because we feel like we're not good enough our faith isn't there our motivation isn't there the money might not be there when in reality you don't need money to travel the world you don't need money to do this you don't need qualifications to this to do this if you've ever thought that you are unqualified for anything being in the world today should let you know that most people are really not qualified for what they're doing. You know, I think that we hold ourselves to such a high standard. We feel like we'll never be good enough to have this or step into this. When in reality, a lot of times the people that have stepped into those places that you're looking at, they're there because of who they've been with. They're there because of luck. They're there because they've had a lot of help along the way. You know, we see people as well that are getting it out the mud, that are going from zero to 100. So there's not one path to success. So what makes you think that your path is going to lead to failure when we know that there's an infinite amount of paths to success? You get to decide that your path is going to lead you to success. That's only something that you can decide, though. Nobody else can tell you you're going to be a winner. You have to decide for yourself, I'm a winner. I'm a boss. You know, I'm above and not beneath. I'm the head and not the tail. Amen. You know, you have to tell yourself that and really, 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 really believe it. No matter, no matter what it means or no matter what beliefs you have to break down to truly believe that about yourself, you have to believe that. Because if you don't believe it, how do you expect anybody to believe you when you tell them, oh, I know I'm the best person for this job. Oh, I know I don't deserve this in this relationship. Oh, I know I don't deserve that. If you don't even believe it for yourself. You know, so much of what we hold ourselves back from is because the faith is not there and the motivation is not there and the drive is not there and we just do not believe. And I think that the more frustrating things can happen in our life, the more we may feel, maybe I'm just supposed to suffer. Maybe this is just what I'm supposed to accept. And I have been there, okay? I have been in relationships and in positions where I felt like, well, this is going to be my life. I guess I'm never going to get anybody else. I guess I'm never going to grow past this point. This is going to be my life and I'm just going to be here suffering for X amount of years. I don't know how long this is even going to take. A lot of times we can really feel that. We can really believe that. We can really start to, you know, carry those beliefs with us. But that is a lie, honey. The devil is a lie. And we have to remember that thoughts of negativity, thoughts of death, thoughts of, you know, insecurity, that is from a dark place. That is from the devil. And I know I don't really like to be too much like the devil falling brimstone. They practicing witchcraft, gargoyles. I don't like to do too much of that. But we have to recognize the world that we're living in and we are under attack. If you have a spiritual purpose, if you're trying to be a good person, if you're trying to be grateful, you're going to be under spiritual attack. We have so much stuff that we're seeing in the media, so much stuff that we're experiencing on a day to day basis. That's making us question ourselves. That's making us second guess ourselves. That's making us say this is too much for me. I don't want to go any further. So we have to fight, fight. We have to fight against so much to keep moving forward, to keep believing in ourselves, to keep trusting in ourselves and to keep knowing that we can have what it is that we want. 
because we can you can you can have whatever it is that you want in this life and we have to fight harder than ever now is the time to fight and i just watched i've been my explore page has been nothing but prayers and sermons and everything i've been consuming so much like motivational messages just to get my energy right and to get my mind right and so i can remember that you know moments that are down don't last forever and a lot of times the lowest moments that i've had recently have turned me into a new person it's helped me see new things it's helped me experience new things like you guys know i'm you know i'm a big smoker you know and i have been smoking my entire life would you guys believe that i'm sober right now and i've been sober for a longer period of time than i've ever been and i don't really feel weird at all about it like i said y'all we have to do a life update but everything in my life that i thought was too big for me I've been seeing myself conquer one at a time, and it hasn't been easy. I haven't easily been conquering these things. It's been difficult. But what I have gained from conquering these things, what I have gained from just seeing myself trying has been so beneficial. And a, a passage, a scripture that I saw, or a message that I saw rather, was somebody saying, if the devil want war, baby, bring it on. If you want to fight, if the darkness wants to tussle, then we about to tussle. You know, and that's how y'all need to feel. If the darkness wants to win your mind, let don't just lay down and let the darkness take over. Fight. Fight for your life to think differently and to feel differently and to see yourself differently. Like, this is not the time to think, oh, it's not that big of a deal that I feel this way. Oh, it's not that big of a deal that I doubt myself. Oh, it's not that big of a deal that I can't get out of this rut. No, it's the biggest of deals. It's the biggest of deals because we're going to see so much change in the world around us. We need to be ready to make the change right now and do whatever is necessary to step into it. Okay, let's get into these cards, guys. Let's just get into them. I pulled a bunch of cards. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to go in order. Let's just get into it. Okay, first things first, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So pray. Are you praying? Are you taking time in quiet? Some of y'all, I feel like you're you, you stressing so much you can't even meditate anymore. You're stressing so much even when you pray. It's like you're being haunted by like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Some of y'all really need to do some practical stuff to take care of your brain. We also have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe some of y'all need to see somebody, get on some medication, start doing some yoga, go outside, change up your diet, get more sleep, do what you can do to deal with your mind. For some of us, our mind has become a toxic place and meditation isn't even a safe space. You can't even do yoga without bursting into tears. You can't even pray without feeling defeated. That's not right. That's not right, you know, and of course, when we go to God, when we try to connect with our energy and get our energy right, of course, we're going to feel defeated when we step into that space, but you shouldn't leave that defeated. You should not leave a moment of connecting with yourself defeated. You should leave knowing more about your situation and feeling a little bit lighter. You should. You should always feel lighter after meditation, after yoga, after venting, after prayer. For some of us, we can't even get the heaviness off of us, okay? So really, really challenge yourself to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and do some practical things to take care of your mind. It's more than just the meditation. Like I said, change up what you're eating. Make sure you're eating breakfast. Make sure you're getting good sleep. If you need to see a therapist, see one. If you need to book a session, book one. Whatever you need to do. If you need to treat yourself, pour into yourself, cut some people off, do what you need to do to be able to clear your mind. Some of us can't even meditate anymore. So start there, honey. If you can't meditate, get into it and figure out why you ain't did nothing about it yet. That's not right. Get into it. Next, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon, period. Your commitment is being tested. I could literally do a whole video on that. Or a sermon, rather, because that's really what it's turning into. Your commitment is being tested. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want a happy life? Do you want a good life? Do you want to be comfortable? Do you want to be free? If you aren't already, then what are you doing to get there? That's it. If you aren't already, what are you willing to do to get there? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to push to the side? What are you willing to do? to get the things that you want. Your commitment is being tested. For some of us, this may mean starting over from scratch with nothing. It may mean leaving a relationship or leaving your hometown. It may mean those things. Oh well though, oh well, oh well. You know, good things come to those who wait, yes. But good things are also hard to build sometimes, especially from the place that we're in right now. It may be difficult for you to build up your confidence again, but you have to start somewhere and you have to make it happen. This is definitely the time to make it happen. 
All right, I was already thinking about the thinking man. So we have rest and rejuvenation, of course, meditation, rest, and getting comfortable in rest. If you have too much going on in your mind that you can't even rest, you know you need to take a pause and get your mind right. We have door to spirit, door to spirit. Connect with God more, recognize what we are fighting against. The stuff that you see around you ain't even the story. That's why you can get a new job and still feel bad. That's why you can get a new outfit and still feel bad. You need to spiritually figure out what's going on with you spiritually figure out what's going on with you and then those other things will be able to help you those other things will be able to matter but so many of us we resort to this and we resort to this and we resort to this because we think it's going to fix us and it doesn't and we're left feeling more empty more confused more frustrated that's not right that's not right okay door to spirit really really challenge yourself to spiritually connect more than ever and do some releasing work i think doing some releasing work will be really really good writing a letter to somebody and burning it or just writing about you know what you've been dealing with and burning it whatever you need to let go of write it down burn it give it to god and trust that it is gone okay we also have the thinking man the thinking man. So I feel someone is definitely on your mind. This could be about a job interview. This could be about someone that you're with. If somebody needs to have a conversation with a guy and you're wondering, I don't even know if they're thinking about this. They are. Okay. This is a very specific message. If you need to have a conversation with a man in your life um, to make peace or if something's just been on you heavy about, okay, I need to talk to this person about this. They're already thinking about it as well. And we also have 46 on this card. Let me grab it. We have 46 on this card. Y'all know what four and six makes what? 10. Okay, we know 10 is all about completion. So for some of us, we're going to be wrapping up a cycle of confusion or frustration in this conversation with this person. So this could also be a time for us to kind of wrap up loose ends. If you feel like, I think I want to cut this person off, but I want to have a conversation with them before I do it just to see where their head is at. And you've been avoiding it and avoiding it because you kind of already know how it's going to go. Don't run from the truth. Have a conversation. What's going to be is going to be. Whatever will be, will be, okay? In the name of Jesus. Whatever's going to be is going to be, okay? So get into it, have the conversation, and make it make sense. You know, you deserve to make it make sense. All right, y'all, let's get into these next cards. So we have look for a sign and ask for help from others. Look for a sign and ask for help from others. So I definitely feel we need to be, of course, connecting with our community, venting with people, sharing about what you're talking about, getting the support that you need. Like I mentioned, going to a therapist, connecting with somebody, saying, hey, I need help, booking a session. Whatever you need to do, make sure you're asking for help and also look for a sign. There are signs all around you. I know we don't like to pray this prayer and say, God, if it ain't for me, remove it, but pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Even say, God, I want a sign. I want a clear sign. They have a lightning bolt on this card. Anytime I get this card, it's like, the sign is so obvious, we're probably ignoring it. The sign is as clear as a lightning bolt going through your life, telling you, this is a problem. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to let go of. I feel like we know it very, 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 very clearly. Now is the time to take advantage of it, make the most of it, and use it to our benefit. You already know what God is telling you to do. You already know what God is telling you to look at. So be mindful of that. We also have abundance and yes, abundance and yes. So this is confirmation, yes, and we have abundance, of course. So we already know that this terrible moment isn't going to last forever. And I say terrible because I know we're suffering, honey. We know this isn't going to last forever, though. It's not going to last forever. It's not going to be the end of your story. You are going to be able to shake back, to move around, to step into a different space, to see yourself evolve, to grow, to change, to expand. You're going to be able to do all of those things and then some. And then some. Okay, believe in yourself trust in yourself, have faith in yourself, know yourself, and take this time to really, really, really pour into yourself on a different level, on a different level. We have yes and abundance, y'all. It's already on the way. It's already on the way. The stuff that you've been going through has just been breaking you down and preparing you for this. Some of us, we were not ready for it. We were not ready for it. And I know that there's a lot that I want in life, but I also know, like y'all know I want to live out of the country, right? I was thinking so much like, how am I gonna live out the country when my plug ain't out the country? Like, how am I gonna be able to get my smoky smoke? How am I gonna be able to do that if I'm, you know, in another country? That was what was holding me back from moving out the country, girl. It's not that serious. Excuse me, it's not that serious. That's what I want for my life, but something was holding me back from stepping into that. And I think that we all have those things in our life that's like that. Like, okay, I wanna travel, but 
I want to be in a relationship before I travel. Or I want to open this business, but I really want to open it with my best friend and she's not ready yet, so I'm not going to do it. Or, oh, I want to get married, but my partner isn't ready to get married, so I'm just not going to get married right now. Whatever you want to do, whatever God has told you is for you, don't let anything tell you that it's not. If God has told you, you're going to open that business, you're going to get married, you're going to have children, you're going to heal your family, you're going to break the generational curses, why are you letting anything tell you that you can't do it? Why? For some of us, like let's say you come from a family of alcoholics and you like to drink yourself and you feel like, oh, I can't tell them to stop drinking because I'm drinking. Why don't you stop drinking then? Or some of us are like, oh, I want to I wanna do this, but I have to go to school to do that and I can't go to school right now. Why not? What's stopping you from doing whatever you want to do? Physical blockages, physical boundaries, physical things that don't even matter. The physical doesn't even matter. It doesn't. You could do whatever you want in any space in the world as long as you decide you want to do it. So you have to make the decision for you. And don't let anything hold you back from where you want to be and what you want to do. Nothing is worth missing out on your blessing and missing out on your purpose. Because the things that God has put in your heart, that's what's going to lead you to your purpose. How many of us are still wondering what our purpose is and why we're even here? The things that are holding you back from stepping into that is quite literally blocking you from your purpose. Quite literally. If you're longing to be married, now depending on how you're feeling like that, if it's from a space of desperation, you may need to work on it. But if you're longing for certain connection, you could be needing to step in your purpose in that connection. If you're longing to be a parent, you may need to step into your purpose to do that. But because of your living situation or your job or your partner, you feel like you can't change all of that then. You have to change and remove whatever is blocking you from your purpose. And that's really what we need to step into in this Lionsgate portal. Whatever is blocking you from your purpose, it has to be disposable. We can get rid of it. It don't even matter that much. Oh, life purpose. Get into it. Life purpose, manifest your dreams. And y'all know I love this day. Life purpose, manifest your dreams. Life purpose, manifest your dreams. Self-love, love yourself. Love yourself, prioritize yourself, put yourself first. Serenity, be calm. Be calm, relax, be kind to yourself. I know this is going to be the hardest thing. Be calm. Be calm, y'all. Be calm, be calm. I feel like um, so many of us, we've just been going and going and going and going. Like our nervous system has been going crazy. That's why it's so hard for us to meditate. But peace and calm is where you're going to be able to make those tough decisions. You know, you're never going to want to leave anything or put anything down or do this or do that if you're in a space where you're stressing. If you're drinking and you're trying to be sober and you're stressing every day, how are you going to get sober in that environment when you're stressing every day? If you want new friends and you want to open yourself up to love, but the people in your life are talking down on you and they don't respect your voice, how are you going to be able to open up yourself to love in that environment? We have to make sure that we are changing what we have around us and that we're being very specific about that stuff. We don't want to be keeping nothing around that we're not supposed to have around. We need to be serious, zero tolerance for the mess. It's time to be zero tolerance for the drama and zero tolerance for anything that is keeping you from what you're supposed to be stepping into. All right, our last two cards, guys, we have delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. And y'all know I pull this card all the time. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. You will never get what you want just by telling God, this is what I want and this is how I want it. You may as well give up right now, girl. I'll see, see you next lifetime. Hello, see you next lifetime, girl. You might as well give it up. You cannot tell God what you want and how you want it and think it's going to come. That's not how that goes. You say what you want, and God is like, okay. And you have to surrender to the process. And when you surrender to the process, it will happen. And I've told you guys before that I've always smoked to deal with my anxiety and, you know, things like that. And I've been wanting to get to the point where I didn't have to rely on that because I absolutely relied on it. It was my medicine as far as I was concerned. I wanted to get to the point where I didn't have to rely on it. But I did not want to surrender for so long. I wanted to keep managing how I wanted to manage. I wanted to keep doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to say, oh, well, if I'm not doing it, then I'm going to be doing it like this. And I was put in a situation where I had to surrender and do something different. I had to. And that is what God will do to you. God will put you in a predicament where there is nothing that you can do. You will not have any other option but to surrender. Don't be like me. Just surrender, okay? Don't make God force you to surrender. 
because depending on how important your path is, you're going to be forced to surrender. You will be forced to say, God, I give it to you. I don't want it anymore. You take over. Eventually, you'll be in a situation where you have to let it go, where you have to say, God, I want to give it to you. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to hold on to this anymore. And if you're not doing that, then you are delusional. If you're not doing that, then you don't even know how the world works, honey, because that's not how anything works. If you're not doing that, then you can't possibly think that you're going to get what you need to get. So really, really be mindful of that, guys. And lastly, we have inner power. Inner power. Oh, this is really the message. I'm so glad we're ending on this card. This is a message. Inner power. Because we have to be brave right now. We have to be courageous. We have to be strong. We have to be fearless right now. And that's what I have on my knuckles. I have fearless tattooed in Braille. We have to be fearless right now more than ever. We have to look in the face of darkness and be like, what that is? What that's supposed to be? That's supposed to stop me? That's supposed to hold me back? That's supposed to make me quit? No. No, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to back down. No, 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 no. I'm not. Because we've already been backing down our entire life. Every time you say you want to do something and you don't, you backing down. Every time you get an idea and you push it back, you backing down. You are already backing down so much over and over and over again. It's time to stop backing down. It's time to say, if this is what I need to do, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's okay. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's okay. Here we go. It's okay. Here we go. Period. Let's get into it. Give me the courage and power to do what must be done. Give me the courage and power to do what, what must be done. It might be hard to leave that relationship. It might be hard to leave that job. It might be hard to open up that business. It might be hard to go back to school. It may be hard to say no. It may be hard to put whatever down that you feel is a vice over your life. Give me the courage. Give me the courage, God, to do what must be done. I think that is a beautiful short prayer that we should all say. Ask God for courage. Ask God for power. Ask God for the mind to believe and know and have faith that you can do what it is you want to do. Because we are all put here for a very beautiful and divine purpose, as always. And we need to remember that and have faith in that. And, you know, not push ourselves to the wayside and force ourselves to settle time and time again. That's why I feel like we're getting so uncomfortable. Because a lot of us, we have stuff that we were best supposed to do in 2020. Some of us have stuff that we've learned about ourselves in like 2021 and we didn't do anything about it then and we still haven't done anything about it. And we're just like, I don't know why my life sucks, but we haven't done the hard work, you know, but doing the hard, painful, lonesome work because it's lonely doing the work. It is. You're going to be lonely because it's not something you could do with anybody else. It's work that you have to do with yourself in your mind, talking to yourself preaching to yourself, praying over yourself. You have to do that for yourself. Nobody can motivate you to do what you need to do for you in this season. You have to stand on your own two feet. You do have ask for help from others. Of course, you want to be able to pour into others and look for a sign and different things like that. But that's not what it's going to be doing. Others are not doing it for you. You're asking them for help so you can apply those things yourself. You can get advice and not do anything with it. This is on you. You are in a season where it is totally and completely on you. And every season we're in is like that. But I feel this one is so much more dire because there's just so much going on in the world and we all have so much to lose. We all have so much to lose. Even the people that think they don't have nothing to lose. We all have a lot to lose if we continue down the path of doubt, insecurity, fear, lack of faith, hopelessness, guilt, shame. You know, we have a lot to lose. And we have everything to gain. We have everything to gain. I really, really feel like God is going to open up the floodgates for us, um, for me, for you. I really think that God is going to show us some things that are going to surprise us. I think we're going to see some things that we were not expected to see. And I think we're really going to be in the space that we need to be in um, to just experience more life, more love, more blessings, more grace, more awakenings as well. God can trust you more with more knowledge whenever you are actually doing the work, you know? 
So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, the motivation that you need to make the most out of this Lionsgate portal and get into it. This is going to be a beautiful new chapter for us, and I really want you guys to make the absolute most of it. Make sure that you guys check down below in the description box, like I was mentioning earlier, and shop Anna Luisa, get into the sponsor of this video. Anna Luisa, thank you as always. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys shop these gorgeous jewelry pieces and then some. I appreciate you guys. I love y'all. I thank you guys for being here so much. And I hope that this next week and that this month of August is just one of abundance for all of us. I thank you guys. I love y'all. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless.